Hey there. Uh, today I want to make a video about this dream I had the other night. This dream is, like, really random. So it's going to be a lot hard to explain. I can explain one part, but where I'm just going to start is... I'm just going to start at the very end. I'm just going to start where my dream ends. Um... How it ended is that we ended up in a a top story brick made building. We we entered the the top and last floor. I don't know how many stories this building was, but it was the very last of it. And then well it was me it was me, my old friend Tyreek, and uh and and we were with some kind of group or something whatever kind of random group it was we were at this we were at this uh random brick made building and and then we stumbled and then we stopped at some elevators these were no ordinary elevators and uh <laughs> and they were they were they looked like boxy elevators with with small doors in the bottom. Probably don't know what I probably like one of those shopping mall door elevators. Like in a tube or something. And then all of a sudden my my cousin Jeff Maddox just all of a sudden just jumps in there and one of the boxy elevators just collapsed. But it didn't go, but it didn't go far down. It just, <laughs> it just stopped. Uh, Jeff Maddox used to be part of, used to, used to work for my vocational college. He's happily retired now. And he's also my cousin. <laughs> and so, um, after, after, after Jeff made a, <laughs> After Jeff made a crazy scene like that, the, he had a he had a laugh, and some other guy had a laugh with him as well, and like I was relieved myself that they were that they were all okay. And then we went, and then uh, we saw this other elevator. It was a. It was some. It was a heart stopping elevator. Believe me, I told my mom this dream yesterday morning. You will never believe what happened. Um, so, the the hard-stopping elevator opened, and I was the first to walk in. And, and who walked behind me? It was my friend Tyreek Brown. He, he ran, he just ran in there right behind me and just... Because he, he was all excited and everything, and then, and then and then the doors closed, and then and then I heard the elevator said, "Hyper," and hyper speed, like like um, hyper speed activated and said going down, and then out of right out of nowhere, the elevator just drops. Just quickly drops all the way down to the basement, and my arms were like, my arms were like flailing back and forth, like oh my god, like oh my god, you know, all that stuff. I wish I, I wish I do both my hands, but I'm holding my phone on one hand, and I'm just demonstrating with the other, you know, I'm just demonstrating with my left. I just like, we were just like going absolutely crazy. I almost like, it was going hyper fast like not just that hyper fast i meant sonic the hedgehog fast like it was dropping all the all the way down how i don't know how many stories it was i don't know how many floors but the elevator was just dropping and right when we got to that very last floor at the bottom of the building we we landed and i lost my balance and i and i Fell right on my stomach. I was on my stomach. 
I think it, I think it was Tyreek. I think I think Tyreek was the one might have pressed that bottom button and probably knocked me down. So, uh, so yeah, and, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and then next, the unimaginable <laughs> happened. The elevator said, hyper, hyper speed activated and said, going up, and and uh, and and then within seconds, pew, the the elevator just like shot up into the air, and I was still on the and I was still on the floor, like, and, and I was still laying on laying on my stomach on the floor, like, and you just see my face. My reaction was like, <laughs> yeah, like that was my, like. Like that was my that was my face when I was when, when the elevator just shot up like just took off like a like a rocket and and well and while it was going my my uh my heart my chest what got heavy like my chest got heavy and then the and then my uh elevator was dropping was and then the elevator dropped and it went up again and up and down it was like going up and down rapidly like oh my god and then my and then my chest just got instantly heavy and that was at that right at that moment that I would that my that I woke up from like my like my friend trying to kill me with that with that heart with this psychotic elevator of like it was going up and down rapidly, like repeatedly. My friend was trying to kill me with that thing. No wonder why it was called the heart stopping elevator. <laughs> because of how rapidly and insanely fast it was going. And, in, and the other parts of my random dream, I can. I can barely, I can barely explain, like, the weird part, like, I can explain the weirdest part of my dream, like, all before the whole elevator thing, it, it, it went like this, me and a group were about to approach some, we were about to approach some type of stairs or something, and then, and then all of a sudden, I feel some 10-year-old white female wrapping her arms around my waist. Like, yeah, it was a it was a 10-year-old white female and it had and she had brown hair and brown eyes. And she was and she was wearing a dark gray t-shirt and black pants and I don't know exactly what kind of shoes she was wearing, but she was wearing like probably white sneakers, of course, all white sneakers apparently, and she was just like, and she was wrapping her arms around my waist, and and for and to make the most of it, I just went with it, and and I wrapped my right arm around her shoulder. I can I just wrapped my arm around her shoulder, and and then. <laughs> And then we started walking together, like, I mean, like, while I was walking and she's there embracing me or hugging me from the waist down, she, uh, she was complimenting me, like, telling me, like, she was complimenting me and telling me about how adorable I am or something, or something, some. Something I never knew I'd hear in my dream. Like, you're so... Like, you're so adorable. 
No big surprise. And then, and then all of a sudden, she just says that you're just you're so weird. And now you're so weird. Awkward. First, I first I was adorable for a few seconds, and now I'm just weird. Well, whatever. So, that's one. So, those are a couple parts of my dreams. The rest, the, the rest of my dream is just random. Don't know, don't know what's up. I want to, I want to explain this whole thing since. <laughs> I just wanted to explain this whole thing. Well, I wanted to. Since. I don't know, since the moment that happened. But there you go. I just want to I just want to explain. I just want to tell you that since I've been since I got some of it out of my system. So There you go. Uh hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you were weirded out by this dream as much as I was. So Have a good day.